What's going on, Broncos country? Welcome back to the channel. So here to preview the Denver Broncos versus the Jacksonville Jaguars this weekend. Week two in the NFL season. Second game of the year for the Denver Broncos. And uh, here are my three keys to how the Denver Broncos get a victory. Um, starting out, you know, Denver Broncos coming off that victory. Last week, feels good, you know, Vic Fangio gets his first 1-0 start um, of his head coach and career. First win in September, but none of that matters anymore. Um, feels great, but uh, we definitely got to take this game seriously. Um, and that's leading into my first key. We're going to have to come off with another fast start. Um, I don't really think we had a fast start against... The New York Giants, but, you know, second half, we went out there and we played some real Denver Broncos football. Um, so from the start, I'd like to see the offense, you know, play well, score the ball, um, take care of the football, you know, no turnovers. By Teddy Bridgewater last week, that was good to see. Something that Denver Broncos quarterback has not done since Peyton Manning's take care of the football. So it's good to see Teddy Bridgewater, you know, Take care of the football. Look good. He had the best QBR of any quarterback in the league week one. So hopefully he can play like that again, which I do think he will. Um, I mean, kind of going into the matchups here. I mean, I just like Denver all over the board. Um, I think they just have a lot of mismatches. And I think they're really going to exploit the Jaguars' defense. Um, I think... Jacksonville's got some pretty young D linemen. Um, I definitely think that our old line's going to probably, you know, win the battle in the trenches in this game. Um, Graham Glasgow, he will not play most likely. He had an irregular heartbeat. Hopefully he gets well soon. Uh, definitely need him on the old line. Um, Nate Muti is probably going to start in place for him, which is okay. He's a solid young tackle and uh so we'll be good with him until graham's you know back and better um but everybody else should be the same on the line but i do think melvin gordon and javante williams will have a big game in this game um i just think the jaguars front seven is not as good as it used to be like a couple of seasons ago when they went to the afc championship and ultimately lost the new england patriots um Back then, they had a great defense, but they lost most of those guys. Uh, most of those guys have left. I think Miles Jack's really the only guy they have left from that team. Um, but, yeah, I do think the, the Broncos running backs, you know, I, I expect a big game for Melvin Gordon here. I um, think he's going to take advantage of the Jags D-line front seven. Uh, we get to see our old friend Adam Gotsis. You know, he's he's on Jacksonville. Uh, he's a second string defensive end. Um, I do think the tight ends are going to have a big day here uh, with Noah Fant and Albert Olga Wake by them. Um, I mean, the only guy who's really going to be a threat here, I think, is Miles Jack in the front seven. Everybody else is pretty young. Uh, I think Josh Allen, you know, maybe he'll be a threat, but, you know, just that's two of seven of your front seven so that's why i think the broncos just have the advantage here is this going to be it's a big mismatch for jacksonville um sucks that jerry judy can't play in this game definitely think that he would you know go to school with their corners they have Shaquille griffin he's all right but everybody else is you know below average cj henderson's okay as well but i don't know the safeties you know not the best either I'm pretty sure Jacksonville Jaguar fans would admit that as well. So, yeah, I definitely think the Broncos offense can have a good day against their defense. And, uh, you know, they definitely got the talent to do it. And they got, um, you know, they got the players to do it on offense. So, I'd like to see them score fast, often, early, and put up a lot of points. Um I mean, number two, key to win this game, defense needs to throw Trevor Lawrence off his game. 
Kind of like the Houston Texans did. They made him throw three interceptions. Um, and, you know, we, we could definitely throw Trevor Lawrence off his game. I mean, we, we got a way better defense than uh, Houston. Um, Bradley Chubb might be coming back in this game. So it would be the first time in a long time that we've seen Bradley Chubb and Von Miller play on the field at the same time. So that would be cool. Um, but, yeah, I'd like for them to, you know, cause havoc. You know, make the young quarterback scramble a little bit, throw him off his game so that he makes mistakes. Because if we could do that, offensive scoring, you know, we could definitely blow out this team. Um, but now heading into my third key here. <sighs> Don't let this be a trap game. Any given week in the NFL, any given Sunday, there could be an upset. Um... It could happen in this game as well. We have to show up. You know, no excuses here. We got to show up. We got to take care of business. If we're for real, this should be a team we should beat. So, you know, we're going to have to go out there and show that we can be a playoff team this year. And teams like this, we got to go out there and take care of them from the start of the game until the last second of the game. So, I'd like to see that, um, but if we don't show up, man, any given Sunday, you can lose, so, <clears throat> but, you know, I believe that they will show up, um, let me take a look at the injuries here, um, uh, so it looks like the Denver Broncos injuries say, uh, Graham Glass now is probably not gonna play, see Stamar still. Stefan, he was limited. He's a back injury. He's probably going to play, though. Uh, Chubb, limited. Hopefully he plays. Jonas Griffith, he was limited. And then Shelby Harris's wrist. Uh, I was kind of borrowing him. He was limited as well. No fan was full. And then for the Jags, you know, you got Trey Herndon, limited. Tyson Campbell, limited. Uh, Laurenti McCray, he was a former Bronco, limited. And then Jordan Smith, limited. So, you know... Going back to this, um, when I look at the Jacksonville offense, I mean, they do have some decent players. You know, I think Trevor Lawrence will be good. I don't think that this is going to be the season that that happens. I think next season he's definitely going to make a leap. Um, I do like LaVisca Chanel Jr. on the Jags. Uh, he's a former Colorado Buff. Go Buffs. Um, so I do like him. They got Marvin Jones. So... You know, defense, you know, let me put to the test. Um, I mean, the Jaguars' old lines kind of stinks. But, um, I don't know, I think they have a rookie right tackle. Andrew Norrell is probably the best player on that old line. Uh, DJ Shark, you know, he's a decent receiver as well. So, yeah, you know, defense will have their hands full a little bit. We're not going to have Darby. This week, um, but, uh, you know, I think that we can shut down the run game. I think James Robinson is going to be the starting running back. Got Carlos Hyde, but, you know, I think I think our D-line will be ready for him. Um, definitely want to see linebackers get after Trevor Lawrence, man. Want to see that pressure. Kyle Fuller, and we get to see a little bit of Patrick Sertan starting in this game as well. So I'm excited to see that. Excited for him to show why he's the ninth overall selection this year's draft. He's going to be playing on the outside. They're probably going to have uh, Callahan in the slot. So, And then when you know, we get to see probably a little bit of Nate Hairston and Kerry Vincent out there. And then Reem Jackson, Simmons. Bold prediction for this game. I'm going to predict, I do this every week, I'm going to do this every week, but my bold prediction, defense will have a defensive score, whether it's a fumble scoop and score or a pick six. I'm going to say it right now, bold prediction of the week. But anyway, that's all I got. Um, I got the Broncos, you know. I expect them to win this game. I'm going to pick them winning 34-16. to 16. So Denver Broncos... I am going 2 0 to start the season. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And that stay safe, be good. I'll see you guys in the next one. Go Broncos!